But mm-hmm. I'm not completely atheist. Um, I do believe there's an afterlife. So we go from here. But I, what my, my, you want to know what my uh, interest is there? I think if um, we confirm that God did not create the universe, any being and such, that, that might be, that's a good blow to religion that we could uh, win and prove the Bible wrong. Does that sound interesting? Would you like to hear what I, I got? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure I'm I, following. Yeah, I couldn't really tell what the question was. Could you, could oh, maybe I spoke, maybe I spoke too, too fast. Uh, if we, uh, I'm, I'm with the atheist. You got that part, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. And, and that it, you, you be believe nice. in the afterlife. Yeah, and I also believe if we can uh, disprove that the, the universe was created by any being, disprove it, that no God or being created the universe, then we can prove the Bible, that part being wrong, the Bible, a fallacy. And? And I have a way of, I'd like you to hear, it might, it might be interesting, a way to prove a, a way, maybe. Which I did, yeah, explain. sure, sure. We're up for, for why the universe cannot have been created. Okay, but if, uh, let me tell you my conception on the universe, because we understand. But, well, my point of view, I believe there's not uh, one part in the universe, there's two portions. But I don't want to go in that direction, to just briefly give you a, a description of my uh, uh, understanding. It's, uh, it's two parts. One's a finite portion, that's the, the mass, that uh, Big Bang, and I think it's cycling. So, right, so are you going to want cycling. feedback while you read this, or is this, ju- or do you just want us to bask in the glory of this uh, explanation? No. You know, when, when, like when you, know, you, you want to give an argument for something, generally you don't start from belief. I believe something, right? Yeah. Uh, that, I mean, so that's, that's, where, that's where you lost me. Yeah, the the usual question on this show is what do you believe and why. So let's uh, p- pause the things that you say you believe and ask what led you to this conclusion. Okay, thank you for elaborating, uh, uh, Mimi. Um, I, it, I believe that. Um, well, I hear you again. I uh, found a way of uh, thinking. Um, see, I asked a question: Is this universe everlasting? Has it been forever? If that's you know it always was and always been, if we can find. Uh, I can, which I believe, but I, I, I do have, I say I believe, and I'm going to get your opinion, uh, a way of, uh, that might essentially say you has been here forever, and this so uh, no God created. Now, here's why. I, I went at it and said, well, okay, I'm going to ask you the question. Is it been here forever and will be here forever? Always was, yes or no? I sense that it must have an answer. Either it's yes or it's no. So uh, I, I looked at it, and I found in my uh, concession that it's impossible for the universe to be not existent forever. The one we are he- here, because I can prove How it to you today. You see? How did you um, come to that conclusion? Wait, I I'll, I think the line is actually bad, because I'm only getting some of what you're saying. Did you just say that the universe must have existed forever or can't have existed forever? I said that it's, it's impossible for the universe to be non-existent Forever, non-existent, meaning not existing forever. Uh, okay. Be- because you, because, because it exists now, and, yes. and this is a how part of forever that 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 it that it can't not exist. How do you That's feel true. about Lawrence Krauss's theory that time just began when the universe create was created? So there is no meaningful information to be gotten out of the concept of before the universe. Well, uh, I don't know about the time part, but I can see proof that it's here today. That means that makes it, that as an answer, it not existence forever impossible because it's here today. So it, it's a okay. We'll grant that. Answer. What else you got? It's false. So therefore, the contrary must be true that it's everlasting and always been here forever because that's a contrary condition. It's either one way or the other. No, it's not. So I, no. <laughs> there's no? a there's a logical f- flaw there. Now, I, I think the scientific background of the origin of the universe is way more complicated than you're getting. But isn't that the answer to the question? I'm asking a direct question for, uh, uh, does it exist forever or not? Uh, so it, do, it doesn't exist forever and it exists forever are, are two different things and, and there's a, a third thing which is it exists sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes it's eternal. They're lasting because, uh, see, it's two portions. It's the Big Bang is one portion, but it's a finite portion. The other portion is infinity. And I think space curvature is the gray between two opposite contrary conditions of finite boundaries and infinity. So that's space curvature. 
Now we got infinity. That is remains forever, but the part, the Big Bang portion of it, goes through brand new variations of creations. If you want to say, that part reforms new worlds, plans throughout time. So I think it's everlasting forever, and it's proven because if it's by answer the question, is it here forever? Has it been forever? That's a whole, the whole thing. And I say yes, no, and well, I know it's false, I, but no, because I'm getting a very but, Deepak Chopra sense out of this caller. I mean, they're stringing yeah. together a bunch of scientific, a bunch of words that sound vaguely scientific to people who don't understand the topic, uh, but okay. they don't come together as something coherent. And it seems like you're subtracting infinities and trying to arrive at a conclusion from that. And, yeah, and, I mean, and... I'm not even convinced you have a handle on the math, let alone the science. Well, it's just logic. It's like flipping a coin. If you know, if you know heads on top, tails on bottom automatically. So if you know the non-existent, uh, there was never be here, it never could be here. We, we, we did explain that, that there, there's more than one situation or more than two situations here, right? It either exists okay, forever, I'm, it doesn't exist forever, or it exists sometimes, right? No, sometimes, sometimes it means it's still around. If it's sometimes, it's got to either be existent or non-existent, meaning forever or non See? Yeah. It can't nope. be only two. This is going nowhere. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for your call, Joe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay.